cosplay. Cosplay never changes. A long time ago we spent endless nights locked away in our tiny rooms trying to finish a costume, wondering if we would ever be done. We were desperate, helpless, burned our fingers with glue and cut ourselves with sharp knives, waiting and hoping for salvation. Then something miraculous happened. We used our newfound technologies, lasers and 3D printers, not as machines of war, but as a nearly limitless source of creativity. We used them to create fusion-powered props, glowing blasters and portable computers, thinking they would make our life easier. But slowly it dawned on us. Even if we had all this technology, we again started to spend all of our time in our workshops. Building. Locked away from society. Sleep, again, has become but a mere memory. Because of crafting has taught me one thing. It is that cosplay. Cosplay never changes. But we get our crap done. Every single time. Boom! The Gauss Rifle was quite a difficult project. At first Benny sat down and made a detailed blueprint of it in Adobe Illustrator. He then transferred the drawing into a thousand little pieces for our laser cutter. Just like with our Nova Rifle we first cut out a wooden core. Afterwards followed countless layers of 10mm high density EVA foam. While Benny kept on cutting, I already glued together the finished pieces with contact glue. I used my orbital sander to get nice and clean edges afterwards. As you have probably guessed, the wood in the middle makes the whole build more robust. To get a more natural and softer look, I dremeled down some of the edges. And then, finally, the detail work started. My goal was to make the rifle as lightweight as possible. To achieve this, I mainly used foam, but also made the gigantic compressor at the front hollow. I also wanted this baby to light up later. So Benny's brother Jacob 3D modeled me the capacitors, which we then printed 12 times. As you can see, this entire thing was a huge puzzle. It took me three whole days to glue all the laser cut pieces together. Foam everywhere! Wow! Foamy foam, 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 foam. I even made the copper coils out of foam. Priming, painting and transporting the rifle in this assembled form would be quite complicated. My solution was to separate the prop using over 80 magnets. The final build consists out of 11 individual pieces. It's mighty magnet magic! Next it was time to prime the foam with some layers of black plastic dip. This spray on rubber makes EVA foam super durable and is the perfect base for a nice paint job. We wanted the rifle to look as realistic as possible, so Benny decided to use his airbrush. First he covered all parts in a dark gunmetal silver. Then he added some rust patches with a bit of brown. On top of those he now wanted to add real rust. For that he first brushed on some white glue and then put iron powder over it. After that he sprayed on a mix of vinegar, salt and hydrogen peroxide to activate the chemical process. More hydrogen peroxide increased the rusting effect even further. The barrel shield got a blue spray paint as a base. On top of this Benny airbrushed more fake rust and then added iron powder and let it rust. To seal the sensitive rust, as well as the paint shop, he applied a few coats of spray varnish. I wanted the capacitors to be translucent enough for the LEDs to shine through. It worked out great to paint them with airbrush colors. We also added some more rust. I cut and soldered one meter of LED strip and attached the pieces to short PVC pipes. Those were then glued and wired directly on the rifle. The wires at the bottom stayed visible, but they fit very nicely to the rest of the gun. 
The final wiring was controlled and powered by an Adafruit shrink guard and a power boost. More info about that in the video description. For the animation, I edited the code of the Adafruit NeoPixel library. To hide the wall circuit, I simply squished everything into the hollow part of the barrel. The complete build weighs about 2 kilos and is 120 cm long. That's two and a half corgi puppies. And finally, after around two weeks of work, the legendary Gauss rifle, the last minute from Fallout 4, was done! So, I really hope you liked this little video and the Gauss rifle is definitely the biggest project I've ever made. I'm really proud of that. Also, if you want to build cool stuff, check out my cosplay crafting books on my website and well, see you next time. Bye bye! Ruff, another settlement needs your help.